Hi, I'm Bob. I'm from the economics department at Clemson University. I'm a PhD student. It's my honor to give a presentation at this conference. I've been using Stata for more than 10 years. Today, I would like to talk about how to use Stata commands to do the statistical analysis in my research. The research I did is called The Power of Marriage, the Causal Effect of Parental Marital Status on child's earnings. There are seven parts of the presentation. The first part is the motivation. Then I will present uh, research questions and my hypothesis. Third, I would point out the identification challenges and propose my specification strategies. Next. I will show the descriptive statistics of the sample followed by the ORS regressions and post-estimation analysis. Then I will focus on the endogeneity issue and sample selection bias. Finally, I will run the panel data regression. I observed that in the United States, the American workers are very different in their earnings between the two parental marital groups. I draw this graph using Stata's box plot command. The graph shows that for each of the age group and for both male and female workers, those who grew up in families where their parents remained married are much more than their counterparts who are reared by divorced or separated parents. I see the same pattern in the workers' earnings experience profiles. The earnings increase as the workers become more and more experienced and then decrease as they become older. But the earnings gap is quite obvious between the two groups of workers with different parental marital status. I want to answer the question, can parental marital status during childhood explain the child's adult earnings after controlling for other relevant factors? Based on the theoretical model I didn't include here, I introduced the parental marriage effect on child's earnings hypothesis. The main idea is that a stable marital relationship has a positive and significant effect on the child's adult earnings. This inference goes through three channels. The investment in child's education channel, the intergenerational marriage persistence channel, and the unobserved endowment transmission channel. The parental marriage effect interacts with the parental income effect and the parental education effect they reinforce with each other. The parental marriage effect on child's earnings is stronger when the parental family income is higher or when the child comes from a highly educated family. The parental marriage effect is higher for sons than for daughters. In order to obtain the pure parental marriage effect. I face two identification challenges and need to deal with the endogeneity issues that may lead to inconsistent ORS estimates. The first issue is the omitted parental variable bias. It's of the utmost importance to disentangle the parental marriage effect from the parental income effect and education effect. The second issue is the endogenous sample selection. The child's labor force participation decision is not random and may be correlated with the parental marital status. I come up with two specification strategies. First, I include the parental family income and parental educational attainment in the model as the 
control variables to rule out the parental income and education effects. Second, I take into account the child's labor force participation choice by running a selection probit model first and then use the inverse mu ratio as an additional regressor in the child's earning equation. I draw the I draw the past diagram using the status SEM builder. The child's schooling and the child's marital status are the two mediator variables that represent the channels through which the parental marital status affect the child's earnings. I decompose the total parental marriage effect into the direct effect and the indirect effect. The indirect effect goes through the two mediator variables. The complete regression framework shows the direct and indirect effects as well as the exogenous control variables from the child's characteristics and the parental backgrounds. I use the summarize and the type stat commands in data to get the statistics of the continuous variables. I also use the tabulate command for the categorical variables. And I use the histogram command to take a look at the trial soundings in levels and logs. The pie chart in data can clearly illustrate the categorical variables. Next, I use SAM and GSAM commands in data to decompose the total effect into the direct effect and the indirect effect. Model one is the direct effect model and beta one is the direct parental marriage effect on child's earnings. After controlling for the two mediator variables, the child's schooling and the child's marital status, which represents the two intergenerational transmission channels 